let's see how we can spawn our custom entities in the world. Alright, we find ourselves back in Intelligent once more, and in this tutorial we're going to be adding our entities to world generation. So we're basically making our entities spawn in the world for that. In We're going to open the world package, gen package, and we're going to create a new Java class. So this is going to be the mod entity spawn class. And this will be actually fairly straightforward. This will just have a public static void add entity spawn method right here. And inside of it, we will call two things. One of them is the biome modifications. Yes, add spawn. There you go. And then we're going to have a biome selectors, biome selectors dot categories. So I'm going to select the biome category of planes. So I want my you know, my raccoon to spawn in planes. And we're going to say spawn a group is creature. Then the mod entities dot, no, mod entities. There you go, mod entities dot raccoon. And then we need a weight, the minimum group size, and the maximum group size. And that is it. Now the raccoon would spawn in the planes biome. But that is not all that we need. We also want to call the spawn restriction, let's see, restriction accessor right here, or register mod entities dot raccoon spawn restriction and then location on ground because we want this to only spawn on the ground otherwise it is possible that they spawn in the air and just you know fall to their death which is not quite what you would want and then we also want height map dot type dot motion blocking no leaves and then last but not least we want to do animal entity colon colon is a valid nature spawn so this way they will spawn pretty much how any other animal would spawn as well. It's very important to add this, otherwise, like I said, they might spawn in, in the air and just fall to their death, which is definitely not quite what you would want. So then what we want to do in the mod world gen class uh, right here, we would just want to call this at the very bottom, mod entity spawn dot add entity spawn. And that is it. Now our custom entity will spawn in the world. And you can, of course, change this, right? You can change the selector right here to, I mean, basically be anything that you would want, similar to the ore tree and flower gen, right? We can say all different biomes. We can say all of the things that are found in the overworld, certain tags, include by a certain key, and so on and so forth. So there's plenty of different ways that you can basically add, you know, the actual spawn of your custom entity there. And I mean, I guess let's just go into the world and see if it works. All right, so we find ourselves in Minecraft. Now, in theory, we don't need to have a new world for this. In theory, this should work in any world. Let's just locate a planes biome, normal planes biome, and let's go there and let's see if we can't find some of our custom entities. So sometimes we might have to adjust the weight here. So this can also happen because, you know, other things also spawn here. So I highly recommend when you try this out that you, you know, really like crank up the weight. I mean, we have it at 25 at the moment, which should be okay in theory. But let's just see. So we can see a lot of vanilla spawns right here. But let's just continue along. Like I said, sometimes there is, you know, sometimes it can take a little while until you find them. But I'm, I assure you there they are. So you can see some of the custom, um, you know, raccoons spawning here. So it really is just a matter of time. And once again, tweaking the numbers, there are more of them. There you go. Now we really find a lot of them. Maybe there's going to be another group that we find. Who knows? Let's just see. Well, I think that I think that this pretty much proves the point, right? Like they spawn in the planes biome in this case. And that is pretty much how easy it can be to add custom mobs to the world gen as well. Right, but that would already be it for this tutorial right here. I hope you found this useful and you learned something new. If you did, I would very much appreciate a like. And don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials just like this one. I also want to thank all of my lovely Patreon supporters for supporting me and this channel. It is very much appreciated. And I'll see you in the next tutorial. So, yeah.